So guys, today I'm taking my new wheels that I bought for the Lexus down to get um, quoted up and start the refurb. Now, I'm gonna take you on a little tour around them because I haven't actually exposed what they are and sort of shown what they are, so. Yeah, they're pretty sick. So these are work Euro lines, uh, 19 inch, nine inch front with a 10 inch rear. The camera's making them look a lot better than they actually are. Unfortunately, um, there's been a sort of slightly longer process to actually get these wheels in my hands. I actually bought them uh, on a Wednesday. The guy said he'd ship them on the Thursday. Worked out that he didn't send them till the following Monday, so I had to wait all of that time for him to actually send them. And then they turned up and only three, so three had actually turned up. They're considerably worse than I thought they would be. You know, pictures can only do so much with um, wheels and stuff, so I will say, go and pick up wheels if you can. Don't, you know, especially if they're like this and they're a bit, you know, worse for wear. Go and try and get them picked up, but unfortunately that wasn't an option. And I can see why it wasn't an option because they're considerably worse uh, than depicted. But <clears throat> starting off, there's a lot of um, sort of marks and um, a lot of grazing around all of the wheels. They're very pitted. All of the lacquer has sort of come off on them. Um, as you can see, the um, bolts inside as well are not very happy. Um, I've actually taken these two out already, but basically he sold them to me as, you know, the faces come out, so this part will unbolt and come out, and then the actual dish and the barrel is one piece, so they're a two-piece wheel. Um, unfortunately, I, I really don't think they are. Um, I've taken these bolts out, and they're metal bolts, but they actually don't secure anything to the dish or the barrel, um, so that's a bit of a shame, but still, I'm very, very happy with them. But as you can see, they're very, very bad. Um, all of the dishes are very, very pitted, curbed, um, and basically completely knackered. The centers are, you know, as you can hear, flaking off. Um, these are very old wheels, and they've been used for, you know, well, what I thought was drift days and stuff, but they just look like they've been really just sat. But it's not a bad thing. I mean, you know, price reflectant and that, I couldn't really get a set in the UK um, anywhere near the price that I actually bought these from. These being the rears are a lot bigger sort of dishes. Um, I have actually tried one of these on the car and they look really good. And I think they're genuinely gonna work as well. The tires are pretty good on them as well. They've got nice thick, little bit of stretch on there, nothing too um, dangerous, which is the main thing. I'm pretty happy with them. So I'm gonna take the wheels down to Bumper Express today, get a quote, you know, see what I'm feeling color wise because the idea was that I had these and they were gonna go silver centers with a polished lip. Now, I think the lips are too far gone to polish back, if I'm honest. Um, I know someone in the comment section will be probably, you know, keep them silver and stuff, but I wanted to, but I genuinely think the dishes and the wear of the dish isn't enough to actually polish back, unfortunately. So I'm gonna head down to Bumper Express, one of my friend's shops, and see what you can say, and sort of have a think about colors as well. Leave a comment below, what color do you think I should do them in? Because obviously black car sort of goes with anything, and I haven't really got a color theme going with the car. Um, silver, you know, if I'm gonna get them sprayed, I don't really wanna go silver again. Um, a candy or a chrome color would be pretty sick, but yeah, leave a comment below, I wanna know your thoughts. I'm also gonna grab my bat boxes as well because that's one of those things I've sort of not even thought about was putting the actual bat boxes on the car, although they have been sat in the office in these boxes. I'm gonna grab the bat boxes as well, take them down and try and get them fitted to the car. I've also grabbed my uh, boot spoiler as well that I'm gonna get a quote for to uh, put on the back of the car, get it all color matched and stuff. So that sort of goes on, on there. Oh God, as he scratches the car and the wind comes in. <clears throat> yeah, sort of like that. Also got a uh, top roof spoiler as well to go on, but I'm not gonna get that painted, I'm just gonna get this one painted. So as you can see from that last bit of footage, the Windbreakers are now up on the site. I've only got a couple of these actually in stock. They're all a sort of custom cut, custom fit with the tags in there, the diamond cross in there and diamond cross on the back. But 
You might have noticed in this video that it's sort of gone from the car stuff to me, you know, videoing those to now me wearing a different t-shirt. Basically, and I didn't video this, but basically it all went wrong. After we left here, we put the wheels in the back of the car, we went to my buddy's shop, we got a quote for the wheels, which are behind me, and um, yeah, it's not gonna work. But I'll take you to the car and pretty much explain why. So the Lexus. Now the idea was that I knew the offsets that I needed, I knew that the rears were definitely gonna fit, the fronts may need a little tinkering and stuff with the arch and stuff, but the offset I thought was all right. But the one thing I didn't actually factor in was the big calipers that these Lexuses have. Now these are the standard wheels, and as you can see from there, sorry about the dirt, but I actually can't get my finger in between the caliper and the standard wheel. Now this posed a massive, massive problem for the front wheels. They actually do not fit at all. I would need, you know, a 20, 25 mil spacer, which means it would bring them right out um, to the arch, um, way past the arch. So in theory, the stretch tire that was on them came out to about here and you could actually still see the tread of the tire. So this means, unfortunately, it's not gonna work on the Lexus. So yeah, what I've had to do is actually sell the wheels. They're already sold to a awesome guy called Connor. He's got a fantastic looking Sora. So they're gonna be winging their way to him tomorrow now. But it's a massive fail on my part. I thought I had the offsets right. I thought I had everything in my head that I needed um, to make these wheels fit. When I actually saw the poke that these actually gave on the front of the car, I was like, oh bloody hell, right. There's actually wide fenders and you know, there's a wide body kit I can actually buy for the car from Japan that I've looked at previously. I then got a quote for it. <laughs> um, I'll overlay the actual body kit now. Are you ready? 5,000 pounds delivered to the UK. 5,000 pounds. The car isn't worth 5,000 pounds. So to me, I gave up. I've actually given up um, trying to get these wheels to fit. What shall I do next? What shall I do? I've sort of tried my best to keep with this build sort of thing. Um, I do want to put a set of wheels on the car because I think it needs it. Whether they're just black multi-spokes, I just don't know. I don't know where to turn anymore. Um, I want to do something different, but the trouble is with that Lexus, they don't modify them a lot in the UK and especially, you know, in the US I think they do. Uh, Japan they do definitely, but Parts are so expensive and obviously to find wheels to fit the calipers and the offset, they have to be 19s and they have to be, you know, right for the car. So guys, what do I do? Leave a comment below. I want to know your thoughts as to what I should do with the Lexus, really. I don't quite know what to do next with it. It's my fault, really, for not getting the offsets right with the caliper and everything, but these things happen. So that is a word of warning to you guys. Make sure you measure, check your wheels and all that sort of stuff, because I waited ages to find those wheels. But anyway, I'm going to close this video out now in the FYD HQ. I've got to wrap the wheels up now and get them sent off to Connor. So on a massive fail on my part, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.